umpteenth time. I don't know where your little manuscript is. I do. You found Molly's manuscript? Where is it? It's at my publisher's. They want it. Seriously? They want to publish my book? Oh, my God! <laughs> Yo, Mr. Man, you really had us go and saying that Molly's manuscript was missing when you really sent to see your publisher. Actually, I did not. Oh, how'd they get it, then? Directly from the author's submission. But that's impossible. I'm the author. Not according to the publisher. They say that the manuscript was submitted by one Coney Falconery. Why would Connie's name be on my book? Sorry, gotta go. No, no go out of my way. You stole my book. No, Squeaky, I wrote a book. That explains where Molly's manuscript went. You pasted your own name on it and sent it to the publisher? That's why we couldn't find it when we searched the office. You took my internships to search my office? I am shocked. You're fired. You know I wrote the book, Mr. Manning. You read it. Actually, I... I didn't. But, but it's still your publishing company, right? You can do something about this. You can stop the presses, can't you, before Molly's book goes out with Connie's name all over it? Publisher seems to think the book's gonna be a bestseller. And? And best-selling novels make a lot of money. Man, is money all that really matters to you, man? What else should matter? Integrity? Look, I told you, I'm not a good person. Anybody who spends any time with me invariably gets hurt. Especially kind, gentle people like you. What about what Star said? I thought you were helping my family by helping me. How can you let this happen? It's business. I don't give a damn who wrote the book as long as it sells. You three are... Well, you three are children. Work it out amongst yourselves, but the book goes to press. You are not going to get away with stealing my book. It's my book, sweetie. And there isn't any proof otherwise. As I recall, you saved something over the computer copy of your novel, right? But it's still my creation. It came from my heart, my imagination. There are no and that makes it mine. Which really sucks. And as a fellow novelist, I feel your pain. You, you stole my PJ's computer. copy. You little wackos sure have crazy imaginations, don't you? Here's an idea. Why don't you take all of those ideas and write your own book? Why can't you just give it back? This book means everything to me. I chose each word so carefully. So did I. Look, I don't know why you two are so worried. My book is nothing like yours. Why? What'd you do to it? Nothing. Why don't you run along? I'm a very busy woman. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Running Kate Howard's magazine. Out of Todd Manning's office. Living with Carly Jax's boyfriend. But thanks for getting Molly's book published, though. Is anything you have really yours? I got my magazine, my office, my husband, and my damn book. Now beat it. How can you do this? The whole point of writing a book is telling a story that comes from inside of you. Using a part of yourself that to make something that was just an idea come true. The whole point of writing a book is to get it published so you can make money which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now get out. Come on, Molly. Let's go. We'll find a way to stop her. Hello. I know. Mom, what are you doing? Mom, I need you to sue Connie Falconeri. Connie Falconeri hails from Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, NY, where she had a colorful youth. After taking many years off to find herself, she's back and better than ever. <laughs> this is her first novel. Oh, hey. You here to see my so-called boss? I'm looking for you, actually. Really? Yeah. Have you finally accepted the fact that you're married to a firecracker and you want to set me off? It's with the photo shoot. I'm just practicing for my picture on the back cover of my novel. You should congratulate me, you know. Your wife's gonna be a celebrated author. Yeah, you're not gonna be my wife for much longer. Oh, is that right? That's right. Oh, wait, you're gonna throw me out the window, Johnny? If you do, you better finish me off, because if you don't, you're gonna go to the slammer for killing Cole Thornhop and his little girl. Okay, keep it up with the threats, and if you do, I'm gonna toss your ass off the side of this building fast, and you can say D.I.D. I'm gonna confess the three murders, what's one more? Is that right? That's right. Because last time I saw you, you were about to confess a little star. What happened? You couldn't go through with it? Just the same reason you don't have the guts to dump me? Can't. Johnny, you know... I can't do this anymore! Every 10 seconds, it's, hey, Johnny, get me a sandwich or I'm going to turn you in. Hey, John, fill out this paperwork or everybody's going to know what you did. Hey, John, clean my panties because if you don't, I'm going to tell everybody what you did to those three kids. Well, you know what? I am fine. Hey, 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 all right, Johnny, jeez. Okay, I'll back off. You're going to back off? No, you're not because you don't know how to back off. 
So we got a little situation here. And the only way I can find myself out of this purgatory of a marriage is if I confess. So you know what? That is exactly what I'm gonna do.